Many scientists were inspired early in life to explore the world. T.J. Paulus's father let him play with firecrackers. Julie Easold's dad expected her to go to college. And Adam Rondinone's father was a watchmaker. I was actually born in a uh, somewhat rural town in New Hampshire. Um, and, uh, and I've always loved science ever since I was a kid. In fact, uh, I inherited my love of science from my parents. Um, I think in a different life, my dad, who was a watchmaker, probably would have been a scientist. He just didn't have that opportunity. Uh, but he was always interested in things that were mechanical and electronic, and, uh, and he taught me about those things ever since I was really just a little child, maybe five, six years old. And then at some point when I was a kid, they, uh, my parents bought me uh, a set of encyclopedia called the Young Children's Science Encyclopedia. And, and that was a, uh, a, a set of books just filled with experiments that could be done at home. And I did these experiments. <laughs> I probably did most of them, the ones I can get my hands on, the materials. And, uh, and that really just fed my love of science. And, uh, and so when I, when I went off to college, it was just that, that was what I was going to do. My sixth grade science teacher was the one who really got me interested in science. I can still remember his lessons. Uh, I was also good in math. So they started segregating you in sixth grade so that you could be accelerated math so that you would be taking the advanced placement classes by your senior year. So I was already on that track by the time I was 11. Uh, my father, I had an older sister, I had two younger brothers, and my dad was very adamant about you will all get a good college education. You will have employment. So there was no, this is a girl thing, this is a boy thing. There was, you will do, period. So that made it pretty easy that way. I got this uh, opportunity to do a summer one-week camp in Lynchburg College in Lynchburg, Virginia. My parents agreed to pack up the camper and we drove 13 hours south. So from upstate New York to southwestern Virginia. I spent a week, we were the only class that had um, lab work. So we got to not only learn about radioactivity, nuclear chemistry, radiochemistry, we also got to do the labs that went with it. So as soon as my dad picked me up from that camp, I was like, I'm going to be a nuclear engineer. And he's like, okay, kid. I was interested, as some boys become, in uh, firecrackers. And I found that I could explode them with using a battery and a little bitty wire around the uh, wick of the firecracker, put it in the battery and go poof. Well, with that much fun, I went off with uh, finding a particular kind of firecracker called a uh, bulldog that was unique because you could take the end off, off of it and you could get the, the explosive out. So I took the powder from one, or just one, dug a hole, Dad was with me watching, worked my wire, hooked it to the battery, boom, made a little bigger hole. So I put in the powder from three of them down in this little hole, did it again and poof, a little bigger hole. Then I took the powder from 12 of them and put it down in this hole filled it up again, boom, a great big hole of rock sticks flying all over the place and Dad should look around from behind a tree and says, I think that's enough. So that was early interest in, in electricity.